training is one of our major goals and objectives in our strategic plan. We were looking for um, people who could come into our country and help us train our teachers um, and train our rehab personnel who have to work with persons living with diverse abilities. This is how the whole um, idea of the training um, came about. I am first um, um, describing for them the scope of practice in speech language pathology. Given that there is only one speech language pathologist in the entire country of Belize, many of the participants don't know how to identify the presence of a speech or language disorder in children. So I'm first having them know what a speech pathology disorder looks like so that they can identify it and then leading them on as to how to assess and how to treat a disorder. And what I'm doing with these individuals, I'm, I'm giving them an idea as to what happens across the spectrum, but I'm also giving them very functional information. So I'm giving them case histories, case studies, where, so that they can practice how to implement a treatment plan and how to imp what kinds of assessment that they need. We have discussions. What kind of impact have you seen these persons having someone who's able to communicate with them? How much difference does it make? A person who is unable to communicate has lost some of his humanity, has lost part of his human right. And it's amazing to see the joy, for example, in a child, both the joy in the child's face when he's able to communicate, and even greater than that, the joy in the parent's face who can do that. In terms of someone who is an adult, who has lost his ability to communicate, I think that persons who have lost, who had it, and then have lost it, relish and enjoy that regaining even more because they know they knew what it was to be able to communicate and it it just improves the entire quality of their lives